Now to the Derek Chauvin murder trial late this afternoon. A former Minneapolis police sergeant testified about a phone call he had with Chauvin on the day George Floyd died. He says Chauvin told him Floyd suffered a medical emergency. He also testified that the officer's restraint of Floyd should have ended after he was handcuffed on the ground and no longer resisting. And this morning, Floyd's girlfriend took the stand giving emotional testimony. Courtney Bate Ross recounted the first time she met Floyd when he was working as a security guard. She talked about a kind gesture from Floyd when she was having a bad day. He, he, he said, um, I said, well, can I pray with you? It was so sweet. She also talked about how the death of Floyd's mother affected him. And joining us now is NBC 10 legal analyst Enrique L1 Latoisen. Enrique, we just heard that emotional testimony from George Floyd's girlfriend. She also acknowledged she and Floyd battled addiction. Let's listen into that. Your drug use was a part of that relationship. Yes. And what kind of drug use um, was a part of that relationship? Floyd and I uh, both suffered with an opioid addiction. And Enrique, the defense made Floyd's drug use an issue during their opening statement. We heard that. So why would the prosecution ask about it? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is day four today, a lot of things happened. And I believe today was a really good day for the prosecution all around with all their witnesses and everything they presented today. So, you know, the defense eventually is going to plant this as an issue that his drug use. So what the prosecution is doing is they're getting out ahead of it. They put uh, his ex-girlfriend on the stand today. It humanized George Floyd. It showed the kind of person he was. It also established the fact that he was a functional user. He was somebody that was using... But he wasn't someone that was struggling with breathing or having issues. And I believe what they were doing was they were getting out ahead of it and they were setting the stage to preempt the defense down the road. We know Derek Chauvin's former police supervisor also took the stand today and was critical of Chauvin's actions. How crucial is that testimony to the prosecution's case? Well, this was huge testimony today for the prosecution. The defense has already alleged in their opening statement that uh, the officer was following his training. And this supervisor, who was in charge of training and things of that nature, who was an expert on this, testified, too, that it's very important that an officer maintains his critical thinking and that they do over and over again reassess the situation and that was the important part reassessing the situation to say that even if george floyd at some point was resisting at the point that he's no longer resisting he's no longer breathing he no longer has a pulse this is time to reassess the situation and to maybe not use that restraint at that point because the situation has changed and how important was the testimony of the paramedics and other medical personnel about their interaction with george floyd when they responded to that call I believe the prosecution hit a home run with these testimony from these witnesses here, because what they said was when they arrived, they had already assessed the fact that he was dead, that George Floyd had no pulse, that no blood was pumping through his heart at that point. And this is what they observed when they came upon it. See, the defense in this matter is basically saying that, um, you know, Mr. Floyd was in some sort of like twilight uh, state, that he wasn't dead, but that he wasn't exactly alive. And these witnesses for the prosecution today were clear that when they came on to scene, uh, Mr. Chauvin's knee was still on Mr. Floyd's neck and that he was dead to a lay person and there was no pulse. And I believe this was very strong testimony for the prosecution. All right, NBC 10 legal analyst Enrique L1 Latoys, and thanks as always for your insight. We appreciate it. See you soon.